know that the average person comes into contact with over 60,000 different types of bacteria per day, let's face it, it's a dirty truth. And it's with this statement that we would like to open today's event. I'm Sylvia, I'm part of the marketing team, and I would like to welcome all of you on behalf of Linear Light Group. On one side of the screen, you will find a chat box available for any questions, information or inquiries, so please write to us because our team is ready to answer. With the initial video, we wanted to play it down a bit and maybe make you smile to introduce a delicate topic which is certainly very much discussed in this particular historical period of infections and bacterial transmission. Certainly, the COVID-19 pandemic has made us very much aware of this, and the use of personal protective equipment has now become a well-established ritual. However, we must not forget the importance of defending ourselves in our daily lives from situations sometimes unsuspected. Just think about it, an object as common as this one hosts an amount of bacteria which is a hundred times higher than the one we can find on the toilet seat. And yet, we keep this object in our hands all the time. Think of how many times we put it on the coffee shop counter while having breakfast, then put it back in our pocket, send a text message while we're preparing dinner. Do we wash our hands every time? I don't think so. The cell phone, as well as the light switches and the computer keyboard, are capable of transferring to the user entire colonies of bacteria. And if on one hand we know that some are harmless, it is equally true that others can be very dangerous for human health. Therefore, there is a need to guarantee users of common spaces a high degree of decontamination in order to reduce all those risks. And this is where the synergies I'm going to talk about come into play. A couple of years ago, so long before the pandemic, we started to collaborate with the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland, which is one of the leading and most award-winning international technology universities. In particular, we became interested in the studies carried out by Professor Anderson and his team, resulting in the development of a patented technology called Hinslight. Let's hear directly from Professor Anderson what it's all about and how it works. Technology which is referred to as high-intensity narrow-spectrum light, or it's as abbreviated HINS light, uses a high intensity of light within a narrow spectrum with peak emission at 405 nanometers. It is important to note that this falls just within the visible light spectrum as shown in the spectral diagram here, where it appears as a blue-violet colored light. We, the researchers in Rolest, established that a wide range of microbes are killed by exposure to 405 nanometer light. However, importantly, as it is visible light, HINS life is safe for human exposure. And because of this, it has been possible to develop a visible light decontamination system that is safe for use in both occupied and unoccupied environments. HINS light kills microbes by what we call a photodynamic inactivation process. This is because microbes contain light sensitive molecules called porphyrins. When the 405 nanometer light penetrates microbial cells, the light reacts with the porphyrin molecules and reactive oxygen species are produced. These very reactive chemicals are very toxic to microbes causing damage to many cellular structures, leading to microbial death. We like to compare this almost as if a little bit of bleach was released inside the cell, which rapidly destroys it. Uh, in a sense, the, the microbe is, is destroying itself in the presence of the light. Now, although microbes are killed by HINS light, it is harmless to humans at the levels employed. Safety assessments have been made using internationally accepted standards employed by the International Committee on Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection and by the American Association of Governmental Hygienists. 
The tests carried out by the university unquestionably demonstrate that the use of the HINTS technology has an extremely positive effect, and its continued use ensures consistent decontamination of a certain space over time. Although the level of bacterial reduction is variable and is on average 70%, peaks of 90% have also been recorded, as you can see in this slide, which shows the measurements carried out in a hospital isolation room before and after exposure to this special light. Once we had verified the effectiveness of our partner's technology, we set ourselves the goal of integrating it into our products so that they could also be used in the everyday lighting of workplaces, workplaces, recreational areas, private homes and more generally all common spaces. We strongly believe that the time has come to change gear and take a further step ahead. This is why I'm pleased to present our new technology called Environment Care Lighting a new light targeted towards complete well-being, which in addition to the visual and emotional aspects also protects a third dimension, namely physical well-being. How did we accomplish this? Our ECL technology combines two different circuits, a special blue light LED circuit with a wavelength of 405 nanometers and a high-performance LED circuit with a color temperature of 3,500 degrees Kelvin. The perfect mix of blue and white light generates a diffused emission that not only protects the spaces, but at the same time enhances them. The choice of the light tone is not accidental. We've chosen 3,500 degrees Kelvin, which is a warm shade, because it's suitable for any space and perfect for a, from a psychological standpoint and favors interpersonal and social relationships. Our combined light, however, is much more than this. It also has high color rendering with an index of 90, capable of emphasizing the real colors of the internal spaces approaching the natural color of the sun. Talking about sunlight, it's interesting to know that blue light is even less harmful than sunlight. The harmful effect of erythema, also called sunburn, occurs in the 3 to 400 nanometer range. The 405 nanometer line is outside the erythema range and above all below the retinal sensitivity area of around 435 nanometers, where prolonged exposure can cause photoretinitis, that is, retinal damage. I'm giving you all this information to tell you that the 405 nanometers are in a safe spot in the spectrum of visible light. What does all this mean? It means that our environment care lighting technology produces a light that is absolutely safe for humans, and therefore the decontamination process by no means affects the habits of users, who, with other more aggressive technologies, would be forced to leaving the premises during the process. During the design and production phases, we particularly paid attention to the quality of the materials, selecting them in such a way as to guarantee the correct and efficient irradiation of the HINTS technology, which must, of course, respect well-defined parameters. Furthermore, in addition to the tests carried out by the University of Glasgow, we had our lamp bodies tested also at the 3A Laboratory Microbiology Laboratory in Padua, where the antimicrobial efficacy of our combined light was successfully demonstrated against three different bacterial strains. The product families that have been enriched with the environment care lighting technology are Woofer, recessed downlights available in two sizes, and Rolip, a linear ceiling system featuring high performance and reliability. All ECL products feature a dual turn-on system that allows you to control the two circuits independently, therefore combined light on during the day and blue light during the night or while the rooms are not in use. Let me end on a design note. Please remember that the consumption of the blue component alone, that the one that should be on for a longer time, is low, thus allowing for en energy efficiency of a project. Let's now see the application of our new environment care lighting technology with Professor Anderson. And we've confirmed that the use of HINS light results in significant reductions of bacterial contamination over and above those achievable by standard cleaning and infection control procedures. The level of reduction can vary, but up to 90% reductions have been observed. 
it is now generally accepted in hospital epidemiology that the better hygiene and increased cleanliness in hospitals results in decreased infections among hospitalized patients. That may seem like a fairly obvious thing to say, but in fact, it's taken many years of research to establish this link between cleanliness and infection. All areas in a hospital can be exposed to HINS light, but we've shown particularly here susceptible areas like burns units, intensive care units, operating theatres, isolation rooms, etc. These are all areas where you find highly susceptible patients and or increased chances of infection transmission. Apart from uh, the use of HINS light in hospitals, the technology has widespread application because of its unique advantages. A summary of what we call the unique selling points are presented here. As it is safe for human exposure, it can be applied continuously in occupied areas to inactivate a wide range of pathogenic microbes. All of the air and exposed surfaces are treated the technology is easy to operate with little training required. No chemicals are involved and problems associated with the use of UV light are avoided. Also, as it uses LEDs, it has intrinsic low running costs. These intrinsic benefits of HINS light enables widespread application. The matrix of examples shown here include not only healthcare areas, but areas such as schools, offices, public transport, food processing, sporting facilities, etc. In fact, it is applicable to all areas where hygiene and cleanliness are important and where there is the possibility of disease transmission from person to person. We are really proud to be the first in Europe to offer this tested and cutting-edge technology, but above all, we are proud to offer the market a technology which is capable of taking care of many areas and those who occupy them. It's a useful, safe and innovative light that certainly marks the beginning of a new era for the world of lighting. I think it's all for today. Thank you again for joining us and see you at our next event for which you will soon receive all the details. For further information, please contact us through the special section of our website, linearlight.com. Linear Light Group presents the ECL, Environment Care Lighting. Safeguarding hygiene in the shared spaces of our daily life is increasingly important. The methods currently used to sanitize the environments force people to change their habits. The Environment Care Lighting technology was devised for illumination and well-being in everyday environments. Through patented studies by University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, ECL technology ensures a reduction in bacterial load of up to 70%. ECL technology combines an extraordinary LED circuit with a specific wavelength of 405 nanometers and a high-performance LED circuit offering an elevated color and rendering index at 3,500 Kelvin. The result is optimal both in terms of the light quality and the bacterial seedle action. The technological advancement of environment care lighting maintains a constant decontamination of environments without affecting daily habits. Thanks to the dual startup, ECL devices are able to manage the two circuits independently the versatility that characterizes ECL technology means that it has been applied in multiple fields. Useful light that protects health and well-being in any environment at any time. We have interrupted our regularly scheduled program to bring you breaking news across the world. Thanks to the ECL Intelligence Blitz, the dangerous bacteria gang has finally been destroyed.